Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another one. We want to thank you all for the love and support you've been showing the channel over the past few months, Madison, and I definitely appreciate every single one of you. So last week we talked about how this whole shelter in place was impacting the blind community. Madison, a few of our friends, and I talked about how our individual lives have been impacted and what we're doing to adapt in order to stay productive, motivated, and make the best out of this situation. Now, we were so in intrigued and impressed by everyone's responses that we are coming in for round two. So, this week we reached out to a few of our friends and asked them the following questions. One, where are they from? Two, what was their life like prior to the whole shelter in place? And three, how have they been impacted and what are they doing to adapt? We would like to thank and shout out our guests for this week, Amber Kiera, Santiago Hernandez, and Jacques Franco. Thank you all so much for joining us. We definitely appreciate your participation and your input. So I'm excited to hear what they have to say. So I will shut my mouth, sit back, relax, enjoy, and while you're at it, why not hit the like button? See you guys soon. Jacques Franco. Hello everyone, my name is Jacques Franco. I live here in the Indianapolis area. I live with my wife, my two children, and my two dogs. Um, prior to the sheltering and to the quarantine, we pretty much had a typical life with a typical work week. My wife is a social worker, so she works Monday through Fridays. So she kind of works the long office hours sort of schedule. And me, I'm the exact opposite. I work from home as a composer for different companies who provide music for media outlets. And um, I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home, especially being visually impaired. I, I you know, don't have to worry about leaving for work. However, I am blessed to be able to watch my daughter during the week. She's two, getting ready to be three. So I get to juggle work and taking care of her. That's kind of my typical Monday through Friday routine. My oldest child goes to school. When school's over, we kind of have the family, you know, uh, basic family responsibilities of dinner, family time, homework, stuff of that nature. And in our social life, to be honest, it pretty much just revolves around the kids. Now, having said that, once the quarantine actually started, stuff for us definitely changed pretty drastically. Uh, my wife, who was a traveling social worker, still has the same workload. However, she has to do everything from a remote home office. So now her office, you know, during typical work hours, was my office the music studio where i created from fortunately we have a space for her to be able to go get away from the kids get away from the dogs do all her work however the downside to that is i still have all my obligations and deadlines and stuff of that nature so i have to kind of work around her schedule i, I mainly start in the evening and work to late nights in order to meet all my deadlines meet all my requirements and stuff like that or the flip side if i'm too exhausted to stay up late and I have to go to bed early and get up really early to try to get in as much work as possible before my wife starts her day. My son has to be homeschooled. So my day now uh, is pretty much dedicated to spending at least, I'd say four to five hours with him doing homeschool. Fortunately, the schooling here in the Indianapolis area, they've switched to a very iPad centric way of learning for e-learning. So for me, it's great because voiceover is compatible. I can usually get by with being able to assist him. So thank God for Apple voiceover on that regard, being able to help him with his schoolwork. I would at least be able to take Sunday off, but now I pretty much have to work every day of the week in order to just make sure I'm meeting productivity and getting all my assignments done, or not assignments, but well, assignments for my son done, but for me, making sure I get all my work turned in according to the deadline. It's definitely been crazy. It's been stressful. And I'm looking right now, trying to figure out more ways to be able to at least get some work done. So uh, during the day, not in my office, I I've actually had to purchase a second computer, a MacBook Pro, just so I can work, you know, in the living room or wherever it may be, you know, I need to be able to work uh, during the day as well, just to try and fix my hours because I don't know when stuff is going to go back to normal. So. Um, it's definitely been a grind. It's definitely been interesting, but you know, we're meeting productivity. We're putting food on the table. 
we're, we're losing sleep in the process, but we're able to keep on, keep on pressing and keep on doing what it is that we need to do. So hopefully for everybody's sake, we can return to some form of normalcy soon. Until then, we're just going to have to keep adjusting and keep on making stuff work. Amber. Hi, you guys. My name is Amber Kiera, and I live in the beautiful city of San Francisco, California. I uh, live in a really fun neighborhood. I've got three roommates, which is classic for the Bay Area, and we just have so much fun doing life together and hanging out. It's kind of like the 2020 version of Friends, except I'm no Rachel and I've got no Ross. But anyway, um, yeah, it's it's really great. I have a seeing eye dog. She's a great dog and we work together and uh, we navigate the city with ease and confidence. So that's really great. And you know, before shelter in place, I love to go on walks with my dog. I like to walk over to the yoga studio in the neighborhood once or twice a day and uh, go to the gym to take fitness classes. I liked going to Trader Joe's because it was easy. There was like no lines. I love acro yoga and I also am an aerialist and I train aerial hoop once a week. And so now that we have sheltered in place, I have switched my perspective into a few other things. I still work out regularly. I tune in on YouTube and live stream some really cool workouts that I've been doing, except now they're virtual. So it's a little bit different, but still making time to, to, to stay fit and healthy in that way. I've been working hard on building my speaking and coaching career for the last year. But now that I've got some extra time, I have taken a deep dive into that. So since being sheltered in place, I've been featured on lots of podcasts. I've spoken at lots of virtual events, and I've even booked some speaking engagements up into 2021. Now that we're sheltered in place, I have to say that I've been buckling down on taking care of some things that will allow me to just live the life of my dreams after all this is said and done. So still staying healthy and fit. I would encourage everyone to do the same, but keep living life. Don't let this stop you. Keep pursuing your dreams and show up for yourself, your family, and your community. That's all for me, guys. Thanks for having me. Talk to you soon. Santiago. Hey everyone, I'm Santiago from San Jose, California. And before the um, shelter in place order, my schedule usually consisted of going to college, you know, through public transit. I would do that twice a week. So I would do that Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then Mondays and Wednesdays I'd have uh, classes online. You know, I was get definitely getting used to that routine. And then on the weekends, I would spend them, you know, with family most of the time. You know, most of the time we had something going on. And once this shelter-in-place order hit, it was definitely hard getting used to a different routine. I uh, saw so all my classes went from being on camp. Well, some of my classes, well, you yeah, know, some were on campus, some were online. So the ones that were on campus switched to online. And uh, that was a bit of an adjustment. Not as difficult as it has been for other people, but definitely an adjustment. And it has been difficult keeping a consistent routine, but I think I've been doing a decent job at that. Now I'm basically working on classes and I've had more free time than I've had in a good while. So, you know, my goal is to keep a routine going because if you don't keep a routine going, then pretty much, you know, it cuts downhill from there. So I'm looking for uh, additional things I could work on and you know, maybe things I could learn, stuff like that kind of thinking outside the box since we've never really been in this situation before. It's had its ups and downs. Sometimes I felt like it was worse than expected, sometimes better. Hey everyone, it's Madison. Thank you so much to all of the participants who submitted a video for this project. We are extremely grateful to have gained your perspective on how you, as a blind individual, are adapting to the shelter in place. Some of you are still working during this time, and you said that you are putting in the maximum effort to do the best job that you can as a working professional or as a parent to help support your family in the best way possible. Some of you are taking the extra time to invest in your passions and build a solid community of friends and family. 
Some of you are taking the risk and trying new things at home. We really commend you for that and look forward to how that turns out for you later in the future. If I missed any underlying themes, leave a comment down below. And if you have other tips on how to survive quarantine and maintain a positive perspective on this interesting time, also leave a comment down below. Please like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified of new videos. We try to post on a weekly basis. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. We'll link it in the description down below.